lethal in ejection. And today also marks the 25th anniversary of the deadly siege and inferno in Waco, Texas. On April 19, 1993, FBI agents moved in, shooting tear gas into the Branch Davidian building, hoping to force the religious cult's leader to surrender. But several fires broke out instead, ultimately becoming a massive fire that killed the leader, David Koresh, and 75 of his followers, including children. The cause of that fire has been largely debated over the years, with some survivors blaming the government. And now to famed magician David Copperfield taking the stand. He and his team forced to publicly reveal how he performs one of his biggest acts after a man was injured and filed a lawsuit. ABC's TJ Holmes has more. Thank you so much for spending this evening. The world's most famous magician forced in a courtroom to pull back the curtain on one of his most famous tricks. David Copperfield was grilled in a courtroom about what happened the night an audience member, Gavin Cox, was injured while participating in one of his illusions. You're not responsible to him. Yes or no? I don't think we're responsible. Did you know that Mr. Cox was injured during your illusion? No. Cox says he was part of the vanishing crowd illusion where 13 members disappear from a cage suspended above the stage, then magically reappear at the back of the audience. Cox says he was rushed off the stage and slipped and fell into a dark construction zone causing permanent brain damage. Copperfield's team was forced to reveal that instead of actually disappearing, the people are actually rushed to a different location through a series of backstage passages and hotel corridors inside the MGM Grand. What were you doing when you, when you went that, that path that, that particular night? Did you run it? Did you walk it? Did you trot it? That's my question. Fast walk. For his part, Copperfield says he only found out Cox was hurt after he sued the magician a year after the accident. Am I correct, sir, that Mr. Cox was injured and you didn't know about it? I found out a year later when we were su who sued. When it happened, you didn't know about it, correct? Correct. That's very interesting. That's ABC's TJ Holmes reporting there. A wild break-in gives one Colorado woman the scare of a lifetime. Take a look at this video. She called police when she heard someone inside her car honking the horn. Turns out it wasn't a person. It was a bear. It climbed inside and managed to lock itself in and ripped the inside of that car apart. Deputies took a while to figure out the easiest way to free the bear and keep everyone safe at the same time. And then speaking of bears, check this out. Oh my God, the bear! Ah! Yeah, so that's a bear you see caught on camera darting across a yard in California. That woman there grabbed a baby and ran inside her home screaming. Wow. I mean, they're in your car, they're in your front lawn. Who knew? And Not just in the zoo. No, and I mean, I think it was about a year ago, year and a half ago, where we had that bear that was on the loose in Frederick County. Uh, yeah. 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 So they yeah. are in our area as well. Definitely be careful. Ay, ay, ay. Also, uh, Old Man Winter just hanging around. Oh, I think everyone is just tired of it, and I keep so getting tired. blamed for this cold weather. Well, we won't blame you, but I can't believe you're talking about freeze watches. Yes, that is happening late tonight Ugh. in through early tomorrow morning. So any sensitive plans, definitely bring those indoors. But right now, we're tracking some heavier rain from Annapolis to Waldorf, racing across southeast Maryland, going to be approaching the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. This particular line has the potential to bring in 35 to 45 mile per hour winds and also some blinding downpours, especially where you see the yellows, the oranges, and also the reds. Now, this is going to be pretty fast moving, and you might be wondering if it's going to rain all day long. Over the next couple of hours, we are expected to clear out. This is all due to a front that's going to be passing through, bringing in some gusty winds and some cooler conditions. So here's a look at our peak wind gusts right now, reaching about 29 miles per hour in Frederick, 39 in D.C., 36 in Manassas. We are not under a wind advisory. That's only for the higher elevations well off to our west. Temperature-wise, 48 degrees. Factoring in the winds, it probably feels like the low 40s in Hagerstown, 50 in Frederick, 50 in Gaithersburg, 55 in Baltimore, Quantico also in the low 50s. But remember, those gusty winds still placing our feels-like temperatures in 
the 40s. So definitely needing that heavier jacket through this afternoon. That commute cast looking at sunny skies through the later half of this afternoon. So we will start to dry out, especially due to the uh, wind around. And our sun goes down at 749. Once the sun sets, this is really going to allow things to cool off. And for that reason, we have a freeze watch in effect. All of these blue shaded counties starting late tonight through early tomorrow morning. This area in particular uh, will see temperatures as we wake up in the low 30s for many of us. So certainly off to a cold start. As we look at the upcoming weekend, Friday not too bad. Breezy and sunny. Temperatures still below average in the mid 50s. Low 60s on Saturday. Looks like a beautiful weekend coming up if you can bear the cooler than average conditions. We're at 64 on Sunday and we start to warm up just a little bit. So here's a look at that extended forecast. Still about a 30% chance of that wet weather today. Kind of dealing with the heaviest period right now. A nice weekend in store Saturday, Sunday. Nationals Park, the D.C. Beer Festival going on. So it looks like a great day if you have the tickets. Just add in that light sweater. On Monday, we're in the low 60s with dry weather. Then into Tuesday and Wednesday, that looks like our next chance for some active weather. Make sure you have the rain gear ready. Stay tuned. There's more right after this. Your brain is an amazing thing. 